Hi everyone. Welcome to Learn English with Podcast Conversations. I'm your host Emma, and I'm here with my friend Ava, who is a student, and our teacher Anna, who is an expert in English language and culture. Today, we're going to have a conversation about a rainy day. How are you doing, Ava and Anna? Hi Emma, hi Anna. I'm doing well. Thank you. How about you? Hi Emma. Hi Ava. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I'm happy to be here with you. That's good to hear. So, as you can see, it's raining outside today. It's been raining for a few hours now and it doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. How do you feel about rainy days, Ava? Well, to be honest, I don't really like rainy days. They make me feel gloomy and bored. I prefer sunny days when I can go outside and enjoy the fresh air and the nature. I see. What about you, Anna? Do you like rainy days? Well, I have a different opinion. I actually like rainy days. They make me feel cozy and relaxed. I like to stay indoors and read a book, watch a movie, or listen to music. I think rainy days are good for the soul. Interesting. So, you have different feelings about rainy days. Do you know why that is? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe it has something to do with our personalities or our moods. Yes, that could be one reason. Another reason could be our cultural backgrounds. Different cultures have different attitudes and beliefs about rain and weather in general. Really? Can you give us some examples? Sure. For example, in some cultures, rain is considered a blessing and a sign of good luck. People believe that rain brings prosperity and fertility to the land and the people. They celebrate and thank the rain for its gifts. Wow, that's amazing. Which cultures are those? Well, some examples are the Native American cultures, the Hindu culture, and the African cultures. They have rituals and ceremonies to honor the rain and to ask for more rain. That's very fascinating. And what about the opposite? Are there cultures that consider rain a curse and a sign of bad luck? Yes, there are. For example, in some cultures, rain is associated with sadness and misfortune. People believe that rain brings disease and disaster to the land and the people. They fear and avoid the rain as much as possible. Oh, that's unfortunate. Which cultures are those? Well, some examples are the ancient Egyptian culture, the ancient Greek culture, and the Chinese culture. They have myths and legends that explain the origin and the meaning of rain. That's very intriguing. So, rain has different meanings and effects for different cultures. How about the English culture? What does rain mean for the English people? Well, as you may know, rain is very common in England. It rains almost every day, especially in the winter. So, the English people are used to rain. They have a saying, there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. That means that you can enjoy any weather as long as you dress appropriately. That's a good saying. I like it. So, the English people don't mind rain. They just wear raincoats and umbrellas and go on with their lives. Exactly. They also have a lot of words and expressions to describe rain and its effects. For example, they say it's raining cats and dogs when it's raining very heavily. Do you know what that means? I think I've heard that before. It means that it's raining so hard that it seems like cats and dogs are falling from the sky, right? That's right. It's a funny and exaggerated way of saying that it's raining a lot. Do you know where that expression comes from? No, I don't. Do you know, Anna? Well, there are different theories, but one of them is that it comes from the old days when the streets were not paved and the drainage was poor. When it rained, the water would wash away the garbage and the dead animals, such as cats and dogs, from the roofs and the gutters. So, it looked like they were raining from the sky. Great. So let's start with some vocabulary. Anna, can you teach us some words and phrases related to rain and weather? Sure, Emma. There are many words and phrases that you can use to talk about rain and weather. For example, you can use adjectives to describe the rain, 
such as light, heavy, steady, or intermittent. You can also use nouns to describe the amount or the type of rain, such as drizzle, shower, downpour, or storm. You can also use verbs to describe the action or the effect of rain, such as pour, sprinkle, splash, or flood. Wow, that's a lot of words. Can you give us some examples of how to use them in sentences? Of course. For example, you can say, It's a light rain today. You don't need an umbrella. It's a heavy rain today. You should wear a raincoat and boots. It's a steady rain today. It's been raining for hours without stopping. It's an intermittent rain today. It rains on and off throughout the day. I see. And what about the nouns? Well, you can say, it's a drizzle today. The rain is very fine and gentle. It's a shower today. The rain is brief and sudden. It's a downpour today. The rain is very intense and strong. It's a storm today. The rain is accompanied by thunder and lightning. I understand. And what about the verbs? Well, you can say, it's pouring today. The rain is falling very fast and hard. It's sprinkling today. The rain is falling very lightly and softly. It's splashing today. The rain is hitting the ground and making noise. It's flooding today. The rain is causing the water level to rise and overflow. I got it. Thank you, Anna. You're a great teacher. You're welcome, Emma. You're a great learner. Thank you. How about you, Ava? Do you understand these words and phrases? Yes, I think so. They are very useful and descriptive. Can I try to use them in sentences? Sure, go ahead. We're listening. Okay, let me see. How about pout, tout? I like to walk in the drizzle. It feels refreshing and soothing. I don't like to drive in the downpour. It's dangerous and scary. I love to watch the storm. It's exciting and spectacular. I hate to see the flood. It's destructive and tragic. Very good, Ava. You used the words and phrases correctly and naturally. Well done. Great. So, Anna, can you teach us some idioms and expressions that use rain and weather? Sure, Emma. There are many idioms and expressions that use rain and weather. For example, you can use rain to talk about something that happens a lot or too much. You can also use rain to talk about something that spoils your plans or mood. You can also use weather to talk about how you cope with difficulties or changes. You can also use weather to talk about the general situation or atmosphere. Wow, that's a lot of idioms and expressions. Can you give us some examples of how to use them in sentences? Of course. For example, you can say, it's raining compliments today. Everyone is saying nice things about me. It's raining problems today. Everything is going wrong for me. It's raining cats and dogs today. It's raining very heavily. It never rains, but it pours. When one bad thing happens, many more bad things happen. I see. And what about the expressions that use weather? Well, you can say, I can weather the storm. I can survive the difficult situation. I need to weather the change. I need to adapt to the new situation. The weather is fine today. The situation is good today. The weather is stormy today. The situation is bad today. I understand. Thank you, Anna. You're a great teacher. You're welcome, Emma. You're a great learner. Thank you. How about you, Ava? Do you understand these idioms and expressions? Yes, I think so. They are very useful and interesting. Can I try to use them in sentences? Sure, go ahead. We're listening. Okay, let me see. How about pout? It's raining invitations today. Everyone is inviting me to their parties. It's raining homework today. I have too much work to do. It's raining men today. There are a lot of handsome guys around. It never rains roses. 
Life is not always easy and pleasant. Very good, Ava. You used the idioms and expressions correctly and creatively. Well done. Very good, Ava. You used the conversation skills and strategies correctly and naturally. Well done. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, Anna. You're welcome, Ava. You're doing great. Yes, you are. I'm proud of you. And I'm sure our listeners are too. Thank you for listening to Learn English with Podcast Conversations. This was the final part of our conversation about a rainy day. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. See you next time.